Finally, in example number 11, we should identify that the lowest common denominator is n minus 3 times n plus 2. So we're going to rewrite the first fraction. We're going to leave a little space. We're going to be, a, we're going to be strategic about this. And then we have a minus sign there. So this, is, this, this type of problem tends to be the most challenging, but it, it has all the same... Uh, all the same steps, same concepts as all the problems that we've done so far. We just have to check. Do we have the same denominator? No. What is the lowest common denominator? That denominator multiplied by that denominator. And so we multiply the first fraction by 1 in the form of whatever this denominator is missing. So this denominator here is missing an n plus 2. So we multiply top and bottom of the fraction by n plus 2. Let's put parentheses around it for emphasis. And um, might as well finish it out by uh, reminding you that really what we're doing here is we're multiplying by a 1. Okay, multiplying by a 1. Changing the look, not the value. This denominator over here, n plus 2, is missing the, the denominator of n minus 3, the factor of n minus 3. So uh, we multiply top and bottom by n minus 3. And, uh, which means we're multiplying the second fraction by 1 as well. So maybe you're tired of seeing that, but hopefully it'll help you remember. So what we have here in the numerator, we multiply straight across. 2 multiplied by n plus 2. All over, n minus 3 times n plus 2. Minus. Over here, over here, we have 2 times the quantity, n minus 3. And that is also over n plus 2 times n minus 3. So whether you have uh, the factors in this order here, n minus 3 times n plus 2, or in this order, they are the same. Remember, a times b equals b times a. That's a property of real numbers as well. So, therefore... We do have the same denominator, which means we combine the numerators. And combining the numerators, we have 2 times n plus 2 minus 2 times n minus 3. And that's all over n minus 3 times n plus 2. Let's see here. But we also have to keep going. We have to make sure we simplify the numerator just in case there's any more simplifying that we can do. Now, we use the distributive property for both the first part of the numerator and the second part. And starting here, we have a 2 times n, which is 2n, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, minus, so we have a negative 2 times an n is a negative 2n, a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. And then downstairs, we have an n minus 3, it looks like we're almost done multiplied by n plus 2. The 2n, combining like terms in the numerator, we have a 2n minus a 2n. Well, those are going to cancel each other out. And we have 4 plus 6, which is 10, all over the quantity n minus 3 times n plus 2. And we cannot cancel any more. Don't even think of canceling the 10 and the 2. And that is it.